I'm excited about this year's Lift Symposium because it's a fascinating time to think about how the healthcare industry overall is responding to this topic, especially in an environment of rapid industry consolidation um, and mergers and acquisitions. How do you maintain culture? How do you make sure that um, organizational cultures blend together in a way that still promotes gender equity? So I'm really um, interested in learning from the leaders who we have um, and hearing their insights. Um, I remember vividly when I was a resident, one of my first experiences as a resident, and I walked into a patient's room and I introduced myself and I said I was doctor and um, the patient questioned me and looked at me and said, are you sure you're the doctor? And I remember feeling like, well, I'm not certain what they're questioning. Are they questioning my youth? Because I did look very young. Um, were they questioning that I was black or were they questioning that I was a woman? And um, that happened several times throughout my career and it really had made me pause and question, you know, how do I exert myself? How do I make sure that individuals know that they're talking to a physician, that they're talking to a female physician? I'm most optimistic that leaders, leaders across the sectors, see women as essential to their team and most importantly essential to their leadership team and that women are standing up, they're speaking out, and they're ready to serve in that capacity. Uh, a message that I would bring to this from the Women's Commission and the Mayor's Office is join together, learn together. We've, over the past two years, bringing new companies to the table that have maybe not thought of this conversation before. And some companies want to have, hey, what's my one fix? Tell me the one thing that I should do. And we really want to open up that conversation to be there are many different things that we can do to change the story here for women in our community. And let's do that together. And so by partnering with Columbus Business First and the Women's uh, Commission, we have the opportunity to innovate drive more action and accelerate the transformation that's happening here in Columbus. You know, one of the things I think is super important is this idea that we all lean in wherever we are. So I think a lot of times, you know, we talk about, you know, we need senior leader support and we do, 100%. We won't go anywhere on this journey without that. But there's a role for every single person at every level to help us advance women's gender parity, um, but parity for everyone. And I think that what's most important to me is that everybody figure out where is your seat in this work? You know, what can you do to help advance this work? You know, is that, you know, getting to know somebody who's different from you? Is that, you know, reading more articles and sharing that with the team of associates that you have who report to you? Whatever it is, figure it out and, you know, join in this work. The Columbus Way is a thing. Um, that's one of the lessons learned for me is the public-private partnership here, um, the commitment to do the right thing and all come together to solve a problem, which we do have a problem in Central Ohio. We have a 21 cent big app between women and men. Um, there is a commitment to solve that and we have 204 adopters of the commitment and more joining, on ev joining every day to um, change the story. I think it starts with you and I think um, as long as you're willing to make a difference and to continue the conversation, all things are possible. <laughs>